Following the success of Tiny Tape Out 2, Silicon Bring Up, Amazing! I thought I'd put together a short video of some of the projects. So let's get started with Thomas Bohm's pseudo random number generator. Uh, we need to set the dip switches like this. It's a Wokwe project. So we can even play with it here and we can run it. I think it's probably running really fast here. So let's turn that and then we press the button and we get random outputs there every time we click the button. And now let's take a look at it running for real. And you can see we're getting a good output there. OK, so let's take a look at Tim Victor's Worm in a Maze. This is a little animation, again, a Wokwe project. Uh, we can run this as well and we can see the little worm running around in a, in a maze. Um, just need to provide a clock and we can reset it if we want. So let's take a look at that working and we can see the little worm running around its maze. OK, let's take a look at a bit more complicated project. This one is called M0, a 16-bit sublec microprocessor. And because I don't have the external ROM and RAM, I can't do a full test here. Um, but William told me that I could do a basic test uh, by setting up the IOs and it would uh, give me some inputs and outputs. So this is a, um, an HDL project written in Verilog. And let's take a look at what that looks like when we're running it. And we can see we've got this action happening on the output LEDs as it's attempting to read from the ROM to boot. So it looks good. I'm looking forward to seeing if William can get that working as he expects. Now, a really cool project, I like this one a lot, is pi to a thousand decimal places. So it calculates pi and prints it out on the display. And this is project number 36. So it's another HDL project. We set the dip switches up like this and then we should see the numbers being printed out one by one. So let's take a look, see if that works. And after reset, you can see it starts off 3.14159 and so on. Super cool. OK, moving on to a project by Tolin, who actually wins the prize for most submissions to Tiny Tape Out 2. I think he put six on. Uh, this is another HDL project and it rolls a random number generator like a dice with a little bit of an animation of the number slowing down using a linear shift feedback register. Uh, so we need to set the dips up like this and then we can take a look to see if it works. So after reset, you can see we've got this number spinning around and it slowly comes to a stop and then comes to a rest on the, the, the one random number, four. OK, let's take a look at Project 68. This is a PWM project, another HDL project, and it gives us a, a triangle duty wave out on uh, bit zero to six. And then the PWM, we're expecting an LED to be doing a kind of breathing animation. So after we set the numbers up, we can run it. And if we look at that top segment there, you can see it's fading on and off while the other segments are calculating the triangle wave. And finally, let's take a look at Tolin's Tiny Tape Out 2 LCD name tag. I like this one because we get a shout out in it. So this is another HDL project. It needs a 20 by four character LCD. So we can run that. And on the second page, we get a nice message from Tolin. Thanks for the shout out. So if you're interested to see some of the other projects on there, then you can just go to the Tiny Tape Out 2 page and scroll through the projects. And don't forget that Tiny Tape Out 5 is going to be closing in about nine days. So there's still time to get a last minute design on. Good luck and thanks for watching. Well, let's... Um...